Hey guys, do another video. This is a follow-up and a uh, complimentary video to the prior one about the uh, Chrysler Siren. I knew a lot of people were asking a bit of questions as what was going on with it. So I thought I'd start off by showing you the actual model in Fusion. <laughs> yes, I know I misspelled it because I'm a moron. I'm an engineer, not an English teacher. Um, but here is what the model actually looks like. This is what I've got done so far. I'm kind of going over all of the uh, the detail that's kind of there. And yes, I realize that it is kind of grainy because it is being filmed off of a computer. But I, do, I don't have any method of actually uh, screen capturing on this computer. Um, I mean, like, this is my work computer. But I figured I would go in and actually show you guys what's going on on the inside because I know that... Um, I, mean, I did say I was going to take the, the model I actually have apart um, right there. But I'm not taking it apart just because I'd, it's just too much of a hassle, especially with the uh, the stator section um, inside the actual compressor being a little too tight. So I thought I'd just go ahead and give you guys an analysis video, kind of showing what's going on. So I'll use Fusion Split It in Half. So you go ahead and see what the inside of it looks like. So um, the things I'm going to highlight will kind of be be what I'm focusing on. So say if I go here and I go to first stage this is the first stage impeller in the uh, in the compressor section of the of the actual blower for the siren and there's the rotor as you saw in the video when I took the whole thing out so you can see it but right here is our stator is our first impeller for the first stage let me go ahead and get rid of that and this is our stator section so if I go in and I'll clear out that so you actually can see it a little bit better um, and I'll also get rid of the first stage repeller. So this is the second stage and what that looks like. So the what's highlighted in blue is the stator the stator section and the hole for the stator section is significantly larger than that of the um, of what you would see for the first stage which is just that little hole that's in the front more closer to the eye of the impeller but the reason why I have it more open for the second stage is because of the volume of air that's going to be flowing into it. It just makes it a bit more efficient. Um, if I was to make a third stage, I'd have to move the eye the eye of the stator section to be a little bit further out. Um, so it'd be even even more and more open as it uh, as it gets closer to the actual rotor. Just, just because of efficiency's sake at this scale. Um, I've done some static pressure tests. I have a manometer. So I was able to actually take pressure readings off of the blower. Um, I don't remember what the pressure was that I was getting in inches in water column. I know it was I know it was pretty pretty significant. It wasn't it wasn't like it was an insignificant number. Um let me go ahead and get rid of the second stage impeller. You can see that that's basically what's going on on the inside of the actual siren. Sorry about that, not in good focus. So that's what's going on inside. Now if I was to add those both back wait where's my other impeller? There we go. Now if I add those two back, you can actually see what's going on. Let me go ahead and select all of the rotating parts of the uh, the siren. So I've got the first stage impeller, second stage impeller, as well as the rotor. I can go in here, select all of these. And then as I rotate this, you'll see better as to what's going on. So. That's basically what's going on inside the siren. You can see that the first stage pumps air from the front section, and the air is then flung out from the first impeller and redirected along this top edge. And the rotation of the air is then corrected and stabilized by the stator section, which then redirects the air into the second stage impeller. And that second stage impeller then does the same thing as the first, and then takes that air and throws it out to the side, and it gets directed through this this plenum right here. And this this section is why I was saying I would have I would have enough space to fit a third stage in. Um, but as I had said previously, I don't think at this scale having a third stage would actually be uh, very wise, just because of the the amount of air that I'll actually be able to get to flow through it. It would actually be if anything, actually inhibiting uh, inhibiting the amount of airflow I'd be able to get through there. So my 
other plan was to possibly just get rid of the sections altogether and because I have a lot of space in here to actually play with and instead of having two stages I was considering taking the first impeller and just uh, extending the entire section I actually can probably show you what I'm talking about right here let me cancel that and make this body invisible and I will make I'll make this body invisible too I'll go in here and I'll just do, I'll use press pull so I can just show you really quickly. Uh, let's see if it'll even do it. It probably won't because this can be quite, quite finicky sometimes. So let's see if I can select all, all of the blades of the, um, of the impeller. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out exactly which, which ones do which because I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to remember this on the fly. So let's also get rid of this front cavity, this front section. Press pull these so I can just move them. I'm not moving this. Let's see if it'll listen to me. It doesn't seem like it doesn't want to. Yeah, it's it's having a freak out. But um, essentially, what I was considering was just taking one of the rotors and actually just making it wider or thicker so that you can get more volume through it. Um, without actually changing the static pressure too much. Um, well, it would change the static pressure values that I'd be getting out of this blower. Um, you, what you can consider is back pressure. It's the same thing. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I've got so far. Uh, more videos will follow, obviously. Uh, but this is just kind of like a, answering a couple questions as to what the inside actually looks like for a couple of people that were curious. Um, so th yeah, thanks for, the, uh, thanks for the comments I was getting too. Um, it's kind of nice to see the community coming together to get involved with the, with the project. But um, you take care, guys. Appreciate you guys viewing the video. And uh, I'll show you what's going on in the next one.